Hello everyone, for today's video we'll be exploring Pet Zoo here in Western Australia Part 1. Una, ating pag-usapan ang history ng Pet Zoo. Sa pagtatapos ng ika-19th century, itinatag ang Western Australian Acclimatization Committee upang tulungan ang mga bagong dating sa burgeoning na Western colony na masanay sa kakaibang tanawin ng Australia. Ang naungunang zoological engineer ng Australia na si Albert Leesoff ay inanyayahan na pumili ng angkop na lugar sa path at ang kanyang 27 taong gulang na anak na si Ernest na hinirang na direktor sa taon na yon. Ang unang sad ay ginawa noong June 1897 sa sumunod na 16 na buwan ang pangunahing infrastruktura ay tinayo kabilang ang tirahan para sa mga oso, onggoy at mamal at ang una sa maraming hype na dumating sa barko ay isang orangutan, dalawang unggoy, apat na ostrich, isang pares ng leon at isang tigre. Ngayon ang mga bisita ng Pet Zoo ay iniharap sa isang napakaibang set ng mga karanasan sa mga mula ng 1898 o kahit na noong 1998. Tumagal ng humigit kumulang na 200 kawani upang maihatid ang maraming komplikado ng isang modernong zoo. Ngayon, ipinakita nila na ang mga hayop ay naaangkup na sa mga pangkat ng lipunan sa loob ng naturalistic na mga setting na may prioridad sa kanilang kapakanan. Kaya naman, napaka-exciting na pumunta tayo dito. Abangan ang part 2. Maraming... Hello everyone! For today's video, we'll be exploring Pet Zoo here in Western Australia Part 2. We will talk about the tips in your zoo exploration. Listen out for sounds in the primate tail. Sometimes, the teeny tiny primates can be here before they're seen. Take your time on a visit. It's not a race. The slower you move, the more you'll see and keep your eyes peeled for trees and plants rustling. Make sure you check out the keeper's talk. They are a huge value add to a visit and you'll learn so much about both the animals who live at the zoo and their cousins living in the wild. This is the tips for visiting primates. At 10 a.m. after heading through the gates, it's time to grab a coffee. A very important tip for this part of the day is to bring your own reusable cup. It's an easy way to do your little bit for the environment. 10.15 a.m. with my coffee in hand, time to take a relaxing stroll over to the main lake. Here, I like to sit down, enjoy my coffee and watch the Java and Gibbons. My top tip, look up as high as you can. Movement up in the tall trees means there's a gibbon hiding up there and most people are surprised with how high they can climb. After a nice relaxing stroll, it's time to say hello to the red pandas. They eat breakfast in the morning so if you're lucky, you'll spot them climbing down the trees to get to their food or already munching away on bamboo. We have three gorgeous red pandas. Watch out for part three. 